Hey there everyone, this is Danielle, playing some more Super Mario Odyssey. As you can see, this is a brand new file. We have Mario having a snooze here, sleepy boy. And, and Cappy is very concerned because she's a sweetheart and I love her. Um, when I stand up, you may notice something very strange. Which is that I'm still standing up. <laughs> yeah, this isn't part of the crouching one. I'm doing a separate series here. What we're going to be doing... Once I rescue our favorite cat buddy is a couple of little experiments at different parts of the game to see whether we can do certain things and what happens, basically. The first thing I want to do, once we've got Cappy, I'm going to skip this because it was in the other run through. There we go. Uh, so we've got Cappy. We're going to just do things pretty normally. We're going to make our way over to Top Hat Tower and we're going to try to get up there without capturing a frog. Mostly that's easy. There is exactly one jump that's really hard. So we're going to see how we go. Uh, I don't think you can make this jump from like over the bridge there without doing like a khaki roll jump or something. Uh, but it's not too tricky just to hit the switch and do it that way. Uh, these Goombas are not here later, which is weird. Let's head to the tower. There we go. Okay, so the tricky part here. You can see the frogs are there. It wants us to capture them. We're not going to. This first jump, that's easy. The second jump, that ledge is very, very tricky to get up to. Uh, so basically, the way you have to do it, it is possible to do it without a frog. You have to do something like this. Triple jump, followed by throwing Cappy, followed by doing a spin, followed by that. Basically, that maneuver, but better, is how you get up there. Uh, it's very hard. <laughs> Cappy's going to keep telling us to capture a frog, but we're not going to, because it's going to keep trying to do this for a few minutes and see how we see if we can pull it off. I have done it before off camera, so I should theoretically be able to do it here. But I'm having some trouble with it, as you can see. Uh, it is also possible to use a ground pound jump rather than a triple jump to, to start it, but I've never been able to do it that way. Uh, the ground pound jump doesn't go quite as high, so you need to be a bit more precise to get it up, to get all the way up. Also, yes, you can bonk on that wall there uh, when you're trying to dive under Cappy, so you've got to be careful about that too. See, as you can see, we can almost climb high enough. We can get high enough with perfect positioning and timing and everything, but I'm not using any of those things. One, two... Also, it is very easy to do that, so you should watch out for that. Interesting thing you might notice, there is no coin counting down thing because we don't have any coins. Uh, under normal playthroughs, like you would get a thing where you lose 10 coins after each life. So you actually respawn a bit quicker if you don't have any coins, which is interesting. Uh, I don't think it's useful for speedruns because you shouldn't be dying very much in speedruns, but... Uh, I don't know, maybe it is. Maybe there's a speed run where, you know, if you jump off an edge, you respawn somewhere useful. And it's faster than doing the alternative, I don't know. But yeah, um, death is faster if you have no money, which is kind of logical, if you think about it. <laughs> so yeah, the whole process is very tricky and precise. Jump. Jump, jump, throw, spin. That spin, I believe, is necessary to keep you from falling too far as you do the wall kick part. Uh, but you can see the basic structure of what I'm trying to do. I've only ever managed to pull it off on that side. I think it might also be possible along the front. Uh, like doing a triple jump along there, which gives you a bit more room to work with, but I don't think you can do it that way. There we go, oops. So yeah, this one, that's super easy, as you can see. This is the only hard one. Every other ledge is about as easy as this first one. So once we manage to get up there, we can get through the whole tower with no problems, basically. Uh, I am using the Joy-Cons here. I tend to prefer that because the Joy-Cons let you do different kinds of cap throws like that very easily. Uh, they seem to be a bit better at sensing motion than the Procon is. So the different moves and stuff are much easier to pull off with one of these. Well, both of these, losing two. Uh, however, you pull off and bonk, so watch out for that. Bonking is, is not desirable. Uh, 
and it's very important to throw at the t at throw Cappy out at the very hot height of your triple jump, since otherwise, you know, you're not going to be high enough. Uh... You can get the idea of what I'm trying to pull off. It's just, it's very tricky. Uh, I'm going to try doing this way, see if it works. See, when you go that way, you have to get go farther in order to reach the reach the wall to jump off it. So I think you'll lose too much height from the diving part. Uh, whereas over here, it's closer, I think. Yeah, it looks closer. Uh, you want to be careful to accidentally capture a frog here, since that will activate the whole cutscene and all that. Uh, but it's not too tricky. You don't really need to throw Cappy at them. Also, yeah, you can accidentally bonk and fall off there, so do be careful. Uh, I want to stand right at the edge here so my shadow goes down, so I have as much space as possible. Ooh. <sighs> So yeah, you can see it takes a tiny bit longer to respawn if you have some coins because you see the little coin counter thing before you come back. Which is interesting. Also, yeah, I didn't do that right. It's pretty easy to get up there, you just have to do the right kind of jump. Uh, backflip will work, just like that. Most other kinds of jump will work too. Like you can do a triple jump or you can just do a cap bounce to grab the ledge. I imagine in a min captures run you would actually have to do this, which is scary. Uh, I don't want to do a min captures run because it's going to be really, really hard, and I believe it's impossible on um 1.2 anyway because certain captures became mandatory. Uh, this one isn't one of them though. I know for that I know that this is possible. I just can't pull it off because I'm bad at video games. Oh my god, <laughs> Cap Mario, come on, come on, no! Oh my god. Okay. <sighs> Damn it. Okay, hopefully it didn't save when I hit the frog. I don't think it saves with the instant you hit the frog, but it does mean we have to restart the game, and that's really annoying. <sighs> ba da da. Da 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 ba da da ba da 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 And for some reason this is taking a really long time. I think it's taken longer. Oh there we go. So I'm just gonna hit resume here. I believe it'll spawn us at the beginning of the kingdom, but the stuff we already did stays done. Uh, let me just check my capture list, make sure there's nothing on it. Good. <laughs> okay. So yeah, we just make our way back over there. Uh, so yeah, nothing has been saved yet, so we're all good. Sure thing, yeah. So as you can see, yeah, all, all, all the special types of capture is very easy to do. Uh, I say as I, I fail to do this one. There we go. Yeah, they're all, they're all much easier to do with the Joy-Cons than they are with the Pro-Con. It just seems to sense what you're doing a lot better. For example, there's a really easy spinning throw. You also do it like this. Uh, but you can't really do that while you're crouching, which is why I haven't done it in the normal one. In the, in the crouching one, not normal. Okay, oh, this is already pressed, right? So yeah, this bridge stays pressed, and you can just make your way over. There we go. Okay, so let's try this again. This time, not capture a frog. Okie dokie. So that's the problem, you bonk right at the top there. Because I just haven't quite gained enough height. It's possible, it's just very, very precise. Uh, 
And how can you do that? I'll try a ground pound jump. Basically, for ground pound jump, you want to stand here. I don't get it. Uh, it's supposed to be possible that way, but I don't see how. Since it's just it's too far. Um, you just don't have enough height to do it. <sighs> There's a triple jump, we have more height, so it should be possible. Theoretically. Um. Ba 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 da 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 da. Oh no. Wow. So yeah, with a frog it's easy to get up there. Without a frog it's it's really, really hard. I know I know I can do this. I just can't do it now. I like the animation of Mario grabbing Cappy and putting her back in his head, it's cute. Frog skip, let's do this. I pulled this off like a couple of times, so I know it's doable, it's just really, really tricky. Don't get that way. <laughs> Chances are they put it at this exact exact height so that regular players would have to capture a frog, but like really super players could get up there without one. <sighs> but I unfortunately am not a super player, so I need a frog.
Oh yeah, no. So close, so close. You can see it's like just too high to get up easily, basically. Mm. But it's possible, I just can't quite pull it off. Not the one. Ah, oh. oh. it looks like it's closer than it is, I think. The actual bonk gives you a little bit of height, so it looks like you're real close, but you're not that close, basically. Because you have to get there without using the bonk, because the bonk always knocks you down. Uh. <sighs> you can see, nice fast respawn, because we have no coins. backflip real close, so you're at the height of your backflip when you touch the wall, basically. Ah, oh, that looked really, really close. Waiting, like I'm not using enough the triple jump height before I throw Cappy. I think I need to wait a little bit longer. Yes! Yes, that's it. That's how you do it. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay. Uh, let's climb up the rest of the way, which is pretty easy. Uh, just dodge those Goombas. Uh, this part, you can do a couple of different ways. Uh, I like to triple jump my way over there, like that. Then these aren't even high at all, so it's really easy. Ow! Do not bop me. Yeah, let's get to the rest. Just finish climbing the tower room. We're good. There we go. There we go. Easy peasy. Oh, except for that first jump. <laughs> but da 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 Alright, so that's it for this video. Uh, I finally managed to do the skip I wanted to do. We've now, if you look at our capture list, you can see we haven't captured anything yet, and we're at the top of Top Hat Tower, which is not intended. You're not supposed to be able to get up here without capturing a frog. Uh, now that we're up here, we can hit this checkpoint, so let's do that. And yeah, that's it for this video. Uh, next time, there's something I want to try in the Cascade Kingdom, so I'll probably be playing off-camera a bit to get over there. Uh, but, yeah, that's all we're doing here, so I'm glad you enjoyed, I hope you enjoyed, I'm, if you did, I'm glad, I don't know if you enjoyed or not, um, but yeah, here we are at the top of Top Hat Tower, we can get all smoky by jumping on top of the broken hats if you want, it's kind of funny, uh, oh my goodness, anyway, uh, that's it for this video, next time, 
I'm going to be doing in something in the Cascade Kingdom, so look forward to it. Thanks for watching.